And a good afternoon, everyone out there, and welcome to a special Westerosi Ninja stream where I will be unboxing some pretty rare uh, Funko Pops uh, from the uh, franchise Watchmen from DC Comics. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, this should be pretty freaking exciting. Uh, I received this box of uh, basically two Watchmen Funkos, the only two that were ever made uh, about maybe a week ago and I've been kind of holding off to do a stream about these and uh, I figured that today is probably as good as day as any to uh, basically uh, open these guys up and uh, show you all uh, what these things look like so uh, without further ado uh, I want to you know this is not a Westeros Ninja stream unless I actually uh, show some uh, facts and trivia about the uh, subject which in this case is The Watchmen. So what is The Watchmen or what is the franchise? Well, a lot of you guys are probably familiar with the 2009 movie, but there's a lot more to it than that. Uh, it's basically The Watchmen originated as an American comic book uh, limited series by uh, Alan Moore, who is a really you know, famous writer, uh, Dave Gibbons, who was the artist, and uh, John Higgins, who uh, was the colorist. And it's basically, it was a 12 comic uh, limited series that, uh, you know, as in 12 numbers on the clock, get it, Watchmen, uh, basically spanned 1986 to 1987. And in 1988, it was one of those rare uh, graphic novels that actually won a Hugo Award. It's uh, basically the most famous literary award around uh, in the quote-unquote other forms category. Uh in 2005, The Watchmen was actually recognized on Time Magazine's list of, of the 100 best novels, okay, as one of the best English language novels published since 1923, which is a pretty awesome achievement uh, to be recognized as that. Uh, in 2009, uh, Watchmen was released by 20th Century Fox as a feature film uh, directed by Zack Snyder. Uh, hopefully, uh, y'all will get a chance to watch that. It's actually... Uh, very good movie in a, in a sense that it actually adapts uh, the comic book stories almost line for line. It's really, uh, really faithful faithful to the uh, comic series. And it's a pretty long movie as well. Uh, and and lastly, uh, DC Comics published before Watchmen, okay, which was a series of uh, nine prequels, uh, miniseries and nine comic miniseries 2012, and Doomsday Clock, which is actually currently ongoing right now, which is a 12-issue uh, limited series. Uh, so, uh, but both without, you know, the original creative team of Alan Moore and Dave Gibbons involvement, but uh, it's out there, and uh, I would uh, recommend taking a look and reading up these, uh, these uh, comic series as well, if you're interested in the Watchmen. So, without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and basically start the unwrapping, why don't we? And uh, so those are the kind of the two Watchmen uh, Funko Pops that were created. Uh, the upper one was a character named Rorschach, as in Rorschach tests that they do in psychology. And uh, the lower one is a character called Dr. Manhattan, who is a, a pretty, pretty powerful uh, uh, character. Uh, so anyway, so this came actually from Europe. Okay? It was basically uh, the only Watchmen set that was uh, available in the whole continent at the time I purchased it. And uh, the sender was a person named the Rainbow Colored Hippopotamus. Okay, somebody that y'all may be familiar with in the community, but uh, for uh, the sake of this stream, let's call this person the Rainbow Colored Hippopotamus. And um, sent directly to me. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this, why don't we? So. My head. Here's the good old cutting knife. Okay. Kind of cool. It was a. Uh, it was basically sent from the airport. <laughs> so. Went from uh, Newark to Dallas Fort Worth, and from Dallas Fort Worth to Houston. So I'm gonna open it from the side because I don't want to wreck the. Uh, the wrapping here. I need to be careful. It's pretty thin wrapping. Man. 
We really put a lot of tape on this guy. There it is. Now it's going. The longest unwrapping video ever, right? So, gosh. This is the price you pay for trying to preserve somebody's beautiful wrapping job here. All right, we are there. Off, and let's take a look. And we have another box. I'm assuming that this was from the original seller who sent it to uh, the friend of mine in Europe and uh, Basically, they wanted to wrap it again. So let's take a look at uh, this box now. <laughs> Nothing makes for a very secure package than uh, regular old masking tape, evidently. Not that I'm complaining. Alright, so now we got it open here, and uh, these Watchmen figures are actually out of uh, print, or out of production, so they're actually pretty rare, and uh, sort of expensive, but you know, I had to get these because I'm such a big Watchmen fan, and also, uh, coming soon this year, there will be a Watchmen series, a TV show, uh, from HBO coming out, so I don't know exactly when, I think it's gonna be like, this summer or late summer, and uh, it's supposed to be sort of a sequel to the original movies uh, with brand new characters, but I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of callbacks uh, to the 2009 movie as well as to the comic book lore. So, uh, here they are, really good shape. Uh, they are they are uh, basically in these Funko Pop uh, box protectors, if you will. So there they are, so Warshack, number 24, and uh, Dr. Manhattan. Number 23. There it is. You guys can see it. Okay, and this Dr. Manhattan figure evidently uh, glows in a box. So I'm going to open up, open these guys up in chronological order here. Or don't, why don't we? Or numerical order, starting with 23. And let's take a look at what this guy looks like. Most people wouldn't open up the boxes, but, you know, suppose they, they've never been opened. So this would be the first time we were, we're actually, uh, they'll actually come out of the box. So, uh, but, you know, since I'm going to keep these things forever. I see no harm basically just opening up these guys right now. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm never planning on ever selling these things, but, uh, so, but, you know, put them on a stand or something like that behind me. So, here's the Dr. Manhattan box. Okay, these were uh, produced in 2013, so roughly about six years old by now. Yep, May 31st, 2013, so just... 30 days short of being six years out. Pretty cool. Uh, too bad it's not nighttime or I didn't have enough time to actually radiate it with like UV light to actually see it glow in the dark. You know, but uh, you have to like put this outside or at least, you know, in bright lights to actually get the uh, glow in the dark material to actually um, start, you know, basically to start glowing in the dark when you turn off the lights. But uh, the box is in pretty good shape. Um, Nothing really wrong with it. You know, a couple of bruises here and there, but it was in decent shape. You know, again, you know, I'm not an uh, in-the-box collector. So let's go ahead and open these guys up to see what they look like. So I had my friend in uh, Europe basically open up these, uh, kind of open it up just to make sure that the Funkos weren't uh, broken or anything like that. Especially this one, because I wanted to test out the glow-in-the-dark to see how it actually glowed in the dark. So, here it is. This is the Dr. Manhattan Funko for everybody. So, this guy is a, uh, again, a really, really powerful um, character in the Watchmen series. Uh, the, little, the little dot there in his head actually represents the uh, hydrogen atom. Pretty cool, right? 
So, um, yeah, I like it. You know, the, the head is a bit of a lighter shade than the body, but I think that's intentional because uh, of the glow and the dark capabilities, but it seems to be in pretty good shape. Uh, the foots are stamped, so this isn't a fake one, but uh, there you go, Dr. Manhattan in, this, in his glory, in kind of a light blue heel, hue, and uh, hopefully, I'll just leave it out in the sun here so it can start glowing in the dark uh, pretty soon. So uh, that is the Dr. Manhattan Funko, and uh, next up is the Rorschach character Funko, and uh, this Funko is actually, actually a little bit more uh, collectible or a little bit more expensive to purchase than the Dr. Manhattan Funko. And uh, he was he was portrayed, this Rorschach character was portrayed by Jackie Earl Haley. Uh, you might know him as uh, the the uh, the heartthrob of the Bad News Bears, the original Bad News uh, Bears from the 1970s. And uh, pretty cool, I mean, pretty cool looking figure right there, right? He has the Rorschach mask, you know, they actually, you know, the patterns actually move around uh, in the comic books and changes patterns, which is pretty cool. And he wears a uh, trench coat. So you can't beat a superhero with a trench coat and a uh, Rorschach mask with patterns that move around, right? So uh, let me go ahead and open this guy. There. This guy's stuck on tight here, but it's finally out. Wow, this is a nice looking Funko. So there you go. Rorschach in all his glory. Too bad he doesn't have a grappling gun like in the comics. But uh This is pretty cool, has everything. Has a trench coat, has the purple striped pants. What more do you want from uh, the Rorschach character from, from the comic books, right? And uh yeah, I, I'm, I'm digging this guy. So this is Rorschach again, and this is Dr. Manhattan right there. So take a look. Pretty cool, right? And they will be going in the back right there. Next, probably next to, uh, I'm thinking between uh, Bill and the bride in the, in the bottom stand and probably I might have to move like one of the uh, Karate Kid ones to the uh, first row to make room for Rorschach, but uh, pretty cool. So uh, there guys go. So these are the two uh, Watchmen Funko Pops that uh, I received lately and uh, they they didn't fail to disappoint. I think these are really, really awesome. And uh, what more, uh, what more can I say about it other than I'm really, really happy I got these things. <laughs> and um, looking forward to basically putting them, putting them on the stand and uh showing them off for uh, years and years to come every night. so years and years to come so uh yeah until uh, something happens so uh, anyway thanks a lot guys for uh, coming out and i will see you all later and it looks like uh we're not over yet because i went ahead and checked the box for uh anything else that happened to be in there you know, just in case. And it looks like uh, I received another gift from uh, from my friend in Europe, uh, all wrapped up here. It looks like a mug, so let's go ahead and open it up, why don't we? In my excitement for the Funko Pops, I didn't actually check the rest of the contents in the box. And uh, cool, it's, it looks like one of these custom made uh, mugs, has my name on it, and the person who sent it. I won't show that, but there is a uh, cool saying on it, I think. Uh, I'm sure it's an original saying, and it says, Sure, I could tell you you're right, but then we would both be wrong. Okay, uh, cute. So, uh, I think that is it. So, uh, again, thanks a lot again for joining me uh, this afternoon watching this uh, Watchmen Funko's vid and remember if you guys haven't had a chance to uh, read the uh, Watchmen comic series or watch the movie I really really strongly recommend it and here's a first print of the Watchmen graphic novel so uh, 
pretty cool beans, right, from DC Comics. So, um, that is all, guys. So, uh, I'll see y'all later. Thanks a lot for joining. Bye. Ninja JK, dupla Jinxa, bota chakra em cada linha de faca faz Macramé no micado, passa espadas por frases Sintático, repara no que digo, é paradigmático Não tenho paralelo, sou para lá de mágico Sabes como rola o martelo pneumático Técnica secreta do monstro rosto Estamos a meter nós no dois Estamos a manter como no jogo Só com uma espada nos tos Plano picado, não sabes de onde esta ave vem Nenhum radar pode detectar onde está a nave mãe Tu sabes bem Somos a clique, somos o clã É Monster Jeans cabrão, respeito ao vais comer tartã Na terra do nunca não digo banzai Vivo nas punca e tenho um bonsai Ninja que é ninja, ninja, frotas imperiais E bate mal, logo bate mais A minha crew não sai em espelhos Na rua, dragão azul, dragão vermelho Sinto o silêncio Verso Shinobi, nunca me canso Sou de Nairobi, ágil como um ninja Rápido como um ninja, tal como um ninja Brutal como um ninja, fatal como um ninja Forte como um ninja, secreto como um ninja Devo mesmo ser um ninja Esta é para os meus ninjas, só para os meus ninjas Onde é que estão os meus? Ninjas, 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 ninjas. Esta é para os meus ninjas, só para os meus ninjas. Onde é que estão os meus? Ninjas, 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 ninjas.